What's up, y'all? This your boy sits and Gupta from Lil Ganges TV. I'm all about making your life flow well. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Lil Tay and the Highland High School shooting and why it should be a lesson to all of us. Now, I'm really aware that this is not a video of norm for me, but as you'll see, this video will help me improve your life. Let's get started. I could always be the one you wanna call when it's cold outside. I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side. So let me give you a little bit of a background in this, in this, with this Palmdale High School shooting. Basically, what happened was a 14-year-old kid shot a classmate on the arm, and then he basically ran in the desert. In this was in California, and he was caught by the cops in a shopping center. Now, a little bit of a background on Lil Tay. She's basically a nine-year-old controversial rapper who's known to be very foul-mouthed and also used racial slurs on her Twitter. As a result, her Twitter account got suspended. I'm about to head outside to finish off the rest of this video. Let's do this! When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye Now, my friend, these are two instances of kids taking action without giving too much thoughts into them. Thought and introspection is a very important quali quality to have in life. This is because some lines cannot be uncrossed, especially in the case of Lil Tay using racial slurs on her Twitter account, or what happened in Palmdale. This is a very important quality that should be taught by their parents to their children. Otherwise, you're gonna end up having people like Lil Tay or what happened in Palmdale, again, the Palmdale shooting. On Lil Tate's case, there is also overconfidence involved. Now, there's nothing wrong in having confidence. In fact, I encourage confidence. However, overconfidence can lead to your own demise, as you can see with Lil Tay. She's way too confident of her skills in rapping. She's only a nine-year-old. Honestly, there isn't even anything wrong in having confidence in your rapping skills. However, when you take it so far as to use racial slurs on your Twitter account, that's when things get really bad, or when you're foul-mouthed. Now, what are the lessons that we as humans learn from these two incidents, and how can we implement it in IRL, or in real life? Basically, think of how your actions and words have an impact on the society that you live in. The case of the Palmdale High School shooting, the 14-year-old kid did not think about how his actions could have a negative impact on the society when he did what he did, as you probably heard on the news or what I said about earlier in this video. There has to be moral and factual backing on everything that you say or do. This, my friend, is one of the best tips I can give you if you want to improve yourself and li live a more better and fulfilling life. I know there's this saying that says that do what, sh what your mind thinks, basically do whatever it is that you think you should do, like take your own decisions without caring about what other people think. However, this only applies to cases when you're not really negatively impacting anyone in particular. That's when even, this, these are the cases when even if you receive hate, like for instance, me making this YouTube video, I'm gonna receive hate from people even though I'm not really negatively impacting anyone. You know what I'm saying? So these are the only cases when you should do and speak your mind. In other cases, you should be really careful in what you're saying and doing. Especially because it can negatively, negatively impact someone else's life. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like, comment on this video, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be seeing you soon.